Hello everyone. Welcome to the video. Today we are going to discuss about a small topic that is anode heel effect. Okay. So we have learned in the previous videos uh, that the anode or the target is given a small angulation of about 15 to 20 degrees. Now this angulation produces an effect known as the anode heel effect. Now this as a result of the anode heel effect, the X-rays produced towards the anode end is of low intensity compared to the X-rays produced towards the cathode end. Now here if you see, the electrons from the cathode, they are accelerated towards the anode and they get absorbed in the target area. Okay. Now the X-rays produced towards the anode side are caused due to the electrons that are more deeply absorbed compared to the electrons that produce x-rays towards the cathode side okay so i will repeat once more the electrons produced as a result of thermionic emission are accelerated towards the anode now the electrons they hit the target at different positions the X-ray photons that we get towards the anode are due to the electrons that are more deeply absorbed. That means their intensity is reduced as a result of absorption of certain amount of the energy of the electrons by the target compared to the electrons that produce X-rays towards the cathode side. Now this causes the effect known as anode heel effect. Now, what is the importance of anode heel effect or what is the benefit of anode heel effect? Now, let's take the example of X-ray of an abdomen. So, we know that the upper abdominal area is less dense compared to lower abdominal area because the lower abdominal area has denser uh, structures such as the pelvic bone compared to the upper abdomen. Now, if you are going to position the patient, we can position the patient in such a way so that the head end comes here and the foot end comes here. So that the upper abdomen uh, will be towards the anode side, which is less dense and require less intensity of x-ray. Whereas the lower abdomen will be towards the cathode side, that is the pelvic side, which will require high intensity of x-ray. This will produce a better image of the abdomen. Similarly, while uh, doing x-ray of other structures, we can always position the patient so that high density area will be directed towards the cathode side and low density area will be directed towards the anode side. So we can also uh, adopt the anode heel effect for taking x-ray of LS spine, um, uh, for taking um, the um, x-ray of abdomen as I said already. So this anode heel effect although it is a um, effect caused due to the angulation of the anode it also gives a positive result for taking certain x-rays. So this is all about anode heel effect. Thank you so much for watching. If you find this video useful please like share and subscribe. Thank you.